Hello everybody, my name is Dratnos and welcome to This Week in Mythic Plus. This week's affixes are Fortified, Spiteful, Grievous, and of course Tormented. This week there's a couple of different anima power selections that I think you should consider. Um, so let me go through what some of those are. Um, okay, so first off it's worth noting that Spiteful Shades do trigger Signet of Bolstering which does sort of double the value, maybe a little bit less of Signet, uh, depending on what sort of situation you're in. So uh, it is something I think a little bit more worth considering than usual, but still probably behind Champion's Brand in a lot of cases. Um, depends on, you know, if, if you're a spec that doesn't particularly scale crit or mastery, maybe this is a good week to start thinking about uh, trying out the Signet instead. Uh, other anima powers that I think are potentially different this week. The Tiny Dancing Shoes, dodging the first two attacks in combat, uh, is not something that gets a ton of value on a lot of DPS classes most weeks, but uh, specifically against Spiteful, actually a pretty useful bit of tankiness against that effect. You probably should still just take the Stone Ward, but it is worth thinking about. Um, it is kind of kind of interesting. But yeah, I mean, I'd probably just still take the Stone Ward, I guess. Uh, and then the other thing to think about as well, a lot of people uh, intuit, where is this thing, that the, where's the fungus? I don't even know if it's showing up, maybe it's not showing up on MDT because it was added pretty recently. Yeah, there was, there was an anima power that got changed out sometime in beta and it looks like it hasn't been updated into MDT yet. But there's a power called Regenerative Fungus, which says... Uh, whenever you take damage, you heal for 1.5% of your health. That one looks like it would be good against Grievous, but in fact, it doesn't actually get triggered. At least last Grievous week, it wasn't getting triggered by Grievous. Probably for similar reasons that Grievous doesn't contribute to Blood Death Knight's uh, death strikes. It's like environmental damage rather than being sourced from any enemy or anything like that. And that makes it not do a lot of stuff that normally procs when you take damage. Um, so, unfortunate anti-synergy there between what would otherwise be a pretty good anima power this week. Um, it might still be an option worth considering, but definitely not as good as it would be if it triggered off of Grievous Ticks. Uh, okay, so with that out of the way, let's talk a little bit about the texture of the week, right? So Fortified, Spiteful, Grievous. Um, a lot of difficulty on trash pulls, particularly trash pulls where there's like AoE and little mobs at the same time. So a place that I'm uh, thinking of here is stuff like Pulls that include Shard of Halkius and Toiling Groundskeepers, right? You're going to get hit by basically all of these things. And just in general, that Spiteful Grievous combo means if you do get hit by a Spiteful mob, you're in a lot of danger, you're low health, and then you have this bleed start ticking on you that uh, becomes increasingly difficult for the healer as that starts to happen. Um, but the good news is this week, you know, if you can avoid the Spiteful Shades at all, and if you can avoid the avoidable damage... You know, the Grievous isn't going to start ticking on you, and it makes it a lot easier to kind of manage all the affixes with the same counterplay, um, which is just being very careful of taking any avoidable damage, and then that turns off all the danger of the affixes. And then you just have bosses. Now, bosses, I think, get consistently underestimated on Fortified Grievous weeks. There are a lot of bosses that are pretty tough with Grievous, especially if your healer is, like, medium-geared uh, or under-geared. So bosses like uh, the Mana Storms is one that jumps to mind to me, is one that often ends up being a pretty big strain on healers' mana batteries. Um, another one would be last two bosses of Plaguefall can be pretty rough for healer mana. So for all of these dungeons, uh, really for all boss fights, I would say just, just go into them with more respect than you would on like a fortified week with no affixes that interact with the boss fights. Another thing to consider is that Grievous is the only affix that like directly interacts with the seasonal affix by being based on just like active dungeon wide rather than from mobs uh, which means that when you're fighting like the incinerator this aura is actually much more deadly than it normally is right uh, because you are then getting put into grievous range and you're in combat so grievous starts ticking on you um, and that means that this tormented mob in particular is extremely deadly this week uh, you do also get some AoE damage from, where is the this one, from Sagadon, uh, when he, a lot of his abilities will also start Grievous ticking on you as well. Um, so watch out for those. This is the only, it's the only affix that really does 
enhance the difficulty of the seasonal affix, but just like Prideful, right, the, the Grievous combo is one to really, really look out for. Uh, okay, besides that, pretty good week all around. Good week for Sanguine Depths, right? Spiteful Shades feed the Venthyr Lanterns for you. If you got a Venthyr in your group, that makes it a lot easier to stack up to 10 uh, nice and quick. Uh, and not too much danger, I would say, from, from several of the like bosses in here, uh, even on Grievous. This one and, and this one can be a little tough, but uh, I think pretty good week for this dungeon. Uh, and all in all, a decent but not fantastic week for Mythic Plus. Uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Come check out my Twitch stream, twitch.tv slash let, let me know what you think. Uh, let me know if you ever have any cool different anima powers to use on different weeks. I, I'm, I'm a little disappointed by how... You know, how often, even even on a week like this where there's, like, interaction with Tiny Dancing Shoes, you should still just pick the Stone Ward. But um, there have been some cool spots where you can use a different anima power than uh, than usual in some weeks. And so definitely let me know if you ever find any of those, because I think those are uh, really interesting. And I would love it if the Affix had more of them. Anyways, thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.